Hi, my name is Dave Kordick, and I'm the Product Development Manager for Test and Measurement Products at Astronova, Inc. I have 27 years of experience in the design and development of data acquisition and recording systems used in the telemetry industry. Today we're going to talk about the latest in telemetry data visualization systems. The importance of visualizing time-critical data in aerospace telemetry applications cannot be overstated. The latest data visualization solutions offer the ability for the telemetry facility to utilize strip chart display software, real-time chart printers, or combination systems for range safety, flutter testing, quick look, and other mission critical applications. These visualization and recording systems are designed to support both existing and new ground stations by offering analog as well as digital and network interfaces. Sharing a common user experience design, today's telemetry data visualization solutions provide the immediate data display required by flight test engineers, range safety personnel, and others. Advances in recording, display, data acquisition, and security technologies are all part of the architecture of these recording systems, which are easily adapted to the needs of each user. The telemetry recorder has been an important component of telemetry systems for many decades. Its unique ability to graphically represent continuous real-time data has continued to be used in a wide variety of installations. Applications include flight testing, rocket and missile launch monitoring, range safety, and satellite testing. The modern telemetry recording and visualization system has evolved to fulfill the needs of the users with the use of newer technologies. Before we jump into the new technologies, it's always interesting to look at a brief history of these telemetry recording systems. Telemetry data was originally recorded on strip chart recorders. These systems were galvanometer-based pen running instruments. The typical recorder drew eight waveforms on eight separate pre-printed grids of 40 millimeter width. The point of writing mechanism changed over many years from free-flowing capillary ink styli to pressurized ink to heated elements on thermally sensitive paper. While these recorders serve the telemetry community very well, the drawbacks to these methods include the mechanical limitations of the galvanometer for high frequencies, the high maintenance cost of these systems, the untidiness of ink-based recorders, and the lack of communication for command and control. The next technology for telemetry recorders was a light beam oscillograph which marked a photosensitive paper. This offered advantages such as higher frequency signals, the systems had higher bandwidth, the overlapped waveforms could be seen. Unfortunately, the downsides were media was very expensive, there was latency between the waveforms real time and when they were seen on the paper, and there was no communications of any type to these oscillographic recorders. The next technology evolution was the electrostatic array recorder. This was the first introduction of digital recording in a previously analog field. This type of technology had a lot of benefits for the telemetry industry. You could have digital waveforms, grids, annotation, and graphics all on the same sheet of paper. There was no time skew. Everything was printed together. There was host communications via RS-232 or GPIB so that the recorder could be host controlled from a central system. Unfortunately, some of the downsides were that digitization effects were often seen on printing and in general, this type of recorder was complicated in its operation. The most prevalent technology still used today is the thermal array recorder. This followed shortly after the electrostatic array recorder and was another type of digital data recording. There's many benefits to this type of system, including high resolution printing, 300 dots per inch, had a high frequency response, greater than 20 kilohertz with very high sample rates, Many choices for host control interfaces, not only RS-232 and GPIB, but also Ethernet and others. Digital data interfaces to connect directly without the use of digital to analog converters. It had digital data storage capability so that data could be stored locally on the system itself. Unfortunately, the real-time point of writing on these systems was not as visible as stylus-based recorders. So there was some limitations for some applications. This leads us into telemetry recording today, where data visualization is the key. Many applications still require the paper output. There's a lot of benefits for quick look, range safety, and other applications. It's a reliable and quickly tangible medium that engineers rely upon to review their data. Data on paper can be quickly viewed, 
marked up, and shared. It can be quickly flipped through to, fi to find important areas or trends that might have happened over the last few minutes. All data is present, the waveform, timing marks, IRIG time code, measurement grids, and even highlights or notes on the paper itself. The real-time shot speeds can be up to 200 millimeters per second. The trend with most telemetry facilities today is towards software-based solutions for the real-time visualization of the telemetry data. However, the ability to visualize the telemetry data in a format that is useful to the engineer also calls for a hard copy output for many applications. Today's telemetry strip chart recorder augments those visualization systems. It has evolved into a true multimedia data recording and visualization system in and of itself. They offer a large high-speed touch panel displays, a user experience that is known and user-friendly, large capacity storage media on a local level, networking capability via ethernet, and expansion capability for future requirements. In order to provide a true multimedia data visualization and recording system, these are some of the latest technologies that are implemented. The newest designs of telemetry recorders utilize high resolution touch panel displays that give the user the ability to visualize real-time waveforms, events, grids, and timing information in a traditional telemetry waterfall format. These displays can be totally customized in terms of waveform sizes and placement, colors, grid definition, timing marks, and annotation. In addition to the real-time waveforms, other types of graphs such as XY plots and meter displays can be selected by the users. These touch panel displays also offer intuitive and familiar graphical user interfaces for local command and control of the recording system. These offer the engineer quick response and intuitive layouts that they can control. These can be totally customized for specific missions and locations. Also, they maintain the same user experience as previous generations, if so desired. Another new benefit of these instruments is the ability to have a video output available to allow the display to be sent to another monitor, auxiliary feed to a control room, or to a video mixing system. The latest designs utilize the HDMI interface for video output due to the industry acceptance and standardization of this interface. One of the most important aspects of the latest generation telemetry recorders is the ability to offer both digital and paper storage mediums, giving the engineer or analyst both options. In fact, the data acquisition capabilities of these systems have been greatly improved based on the requirements and input of the telemetry community. Sample rates of up to 200 kilohertz per channel are now standard for installations where analog signals are still required. Enterprise grade solid state drives with their consistent performance and reliability have replaced magnetic hard drives in most of the newest installations. These drives are typically 3D NAND flash memory, offering a good balance between performance and cost. A typical use case for the data acquisition capability is for an application that requires an entire mission to be recorded locally on solid state removable media, but the engineer or analyst may want to have a hard copy printout of a few important areas of interest during the mission. The newest systems make this possible and offer maximum flexibility. The ability to network multiple telemetry recorders is a requirement for almost all telemetry facilities. Many of these have central locations where one engineer or system operator can control the various recorders that are used throughout the facility. The latest systems offer gigabit ethernet ports for interfacing to the equipment. This connectivity provides command and control, file transfer capability, web interfaces, digital data interfaces, and even peer-to-peer -peer communication. Shown here is a typical network block diagram for the telemetry recorder ethernet interface. These systems utilize both TCP and UDP protocols, depending on the need of the specific telemetry facility. FTP and HTTP protocols are also used for file transfer and support of web-based client software. The host software can be totally customized by users and or applications. Different internal servers are available inside the telemetry recorder, depending on the requirements of the facility. The interface offers system control, file transfer, and real-time digital data connection. The digital data interface over Ethernet is one of the most commonly used capabilities of these recording systems. This eliminates the need for digital to analog converters to provide analog data to the recorder. 
A higher level data protocol is used to transmit data to the recorder directly over Ethernet. An example is a digital data protocol which is optimized for strip chart recorder data with the use of the min-max method and requires the host to send line segments based on the minimum and maximum waveform values for a slice of time, or delta t. The value of delta t depends on the chart speed of the recorder. The data packets containing the line segments also include timing marks, IRIG timestamps, grid information, and provide the host with advanced control over the visualization and printing of the data. Other benefits of a digital data interface include the reduced bandwidth requirements on the network and the advantage of glitch capture. With glitch capture, the primary sample rate at the host can be much higher than the min-max rate at which the packets are sent to the telemetry recorder. Therefore, a high-speed event can be seen as a minimum or maximum even at the relatively low rate that data is being sent across the network. As seen here, a waveform spike with frequencies of 1, 10, 100, and 1000 hertz is shown with the full amplitude information as recorded. Security is an important consideration for any telemetry equipment today due to the proliferation of both physical and cyber threats. Malicious code, viruses, and state-of-the-art intrusion methods are all concerns for the telemetry community. The latest telemetry recorders play a role in mitigating these threats by the use of the advanced technologies and operating systems used in their designs. From a physical standpoint, the recording system utilizes lockable and removable drive bays for the system and data acquisition media. This security is not only utilized for protection against malicious intent, but also to have the ability to use different media for distinct classified projects. The Windows 10 operating system is now used for the display and graphical user interface functions of the recorder. This operating system, accepted by the DOD and other government facilities, offers the ability for information assurance compliance with the configuration standards of the Security Technical Implementation Guide, or STIG. Today's solutions are much more than recording systems. They're actually technology-based data visualization solutions. There are many challenges facing telemetry facilities today. One of the challenges for installations that use strip chart recorders is that many of these instruments are aging and utilize obsolete technology. These systems are used in mission critical environments where failure is costly, especially for go or no go decisions. Telemetry facilities also see the need for more centralized command and control. This is increasingly important for the latest telemetry systems today. Finally, there is a challenge for the logistics of legacy installations where high maintenance requirements and the need to still support digital to analog converters can be a burden. Fortunately, technology allows us to provide solutions to these challenges. Perhaps the most noteworthy development is the interest of many telemetry facilities in replacing these older systems with the commercial off-the-shelf solution of customizable data visualization and printing methods that offer the same user experience. This architecture is viable because of the ability to separate the waveform display capability from the printing capability in the latest designs. Furthermore, the digital data protocol allows for seamless integration between the source of the data and the endpoints for visualization or recording of the time-critical data. These endpoints are typically data visualization software stations, continuous network printers, and strip chart recorders. Shown here is an example configuration where a telemetry processor is sending digital data packets over Ethernet to these various solutions. If only data visualization and local digital storage is required, then the visual display software stations are utilized. If only strip chart recording is needed, then the continuous network printer can be used. If a full visualization, data recording, and strip chart solution is required, then the telemetry strip chart recorder is used. All three solutions share a common command and control structure, as well as support the digital data protocol. The benefit to this is that one network can be used for all display and printer stations. This can also be controlled from one telemetry processor or server. With this architecture, the telemetry facility can adapt to the needs of their customers. This flexible configuration can support different missions requiring different numbers of recorded parameters. An example is having many engineers or analysts 
Viewing the data in real time using the visual display software and having the ability to send data to the continuous network printer upon demand. The telemetry recording system is still a useful and viable part of the instrumentation for telemetry facilities throughout the world. While the need for a continuous printed record of telemetry data has been reduced due to other recording media, the requirements for some applications still call for the printed record. Today's next generation systems not only fulfill that requirement, but also offer the users and facilities much greater flexibility and capability in terms of data visualization and data acquisition. By offering a combination of software-based and hardware-based solutions, these telemetry recording systems are flexible in their configuration and can be adapted to any telemetry facility. The latest technologies and protocols used in today's designs also ensure that these systems meet current and future mission requirements. I hope this presentation was informative for you and I thank you for your attention.